Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I am Penj and welcome to Dealer's Life and let's just get this out of the way right at the very start shall we? We are not dealing in drugs, we're not that sort of dealer, we are dealing with various items as the owner of a pawn shop. So people will come into our little shop and they will either try to sell us some stuff they don't want anymore, so stuff they are willing to part with for a little bit of money, or they may want to come and buy some of the no doubt top quality merchandise that we have managed to acquire and apparently it's all procedurally generated so there's information items and characters and random events and such like plus we can hire staff to help us out in certain areas and we gain skills and all that sort of stuff plus it's full of pop culture references as well which just sounds marvelous indeed as always if you're interested there is a link to the steam store page in the video description below and also the sequel is coming out soon as well as you can see on the screen it says dealers live 2 with an exclamation mark very exciting indeed so uh, so yes you can have a look at that over on steam as well if it takes your fancy and we were given a key to this by the developers which is very lovely so thank you developers that's very kind of you indeed so i think without any further ado let's go and open up our little shop oh there's even a little bit of sort of character building at the very very start so we've got to create our character okay so we're called penge obviously and we've got five skill points to assign and we've got to put them into either competence charisma insight and luck now, do I click these? Ah, right, okay, so this is what they do. The more competence you have, the more items you will be able to estimate and with more accuracy. Okay, right, charisma, get more openness, even from the hardest customer. Thanks to your compelling arguments, you'll also be able to sell counterfeit items more easily. Okay, all right, that's interesting. So we could use that if we've got some slightly dodgy things we want to sell. Insight, know everything about your customer's personality. In addition, a good insight will let you recognize counterfeit items more easily. Okay, that's good. And then Luck. luck increases the average number of customers you will encounter each day. Also, some luck could always prevent you from bad accidents. You never know. And we've got five points to assign. It would make sense to do that. So have at least one in each thing. And then we need to choose something to excel in. So what do we go for? I mean, competence. I, I don't feel we should go high in competence. I don't think it suits the geek cupboard very well. I mean, yeah, we don't demonstrate a lot of that a lot of the time. How about, how about a bit of insight? That might be quite good. We can figure out things about our customer's personality and that way we might be able to make a bit more money off them or whatever. Let's go for that, I think. Let's go for a point of insight. Let's go and be very insightful indeed. Okay, so what happens now? Where's our little shop? Okay, the daily news. There are shops for rent. There are forgers for hire and there is a clerk for hire. Also something is happening in, happening in Italy. <laughs> And the world of peacecraft is apparently a thing. Okay, oh, and the White House is for rent. Can we go over there? Um, okay, a shop for rent, I imagine we're supposed to kind of uh, go and get first. Um, okay, how much money have we got? We've got 10,000 of your dollars. Uh, okay, that's interesting. We don't have enough money for that. Okay, okay, right. And shop for rent, we don't have enough money for that either. Oh, no, we have a shop. Oh, oh, okay, right. I thought we were buying a shop to you know, get things started, but no, we have a shop because there is a sign just there. Um, okay, so a forger transforms a standard item that any feature into a more valuable treasure. Okay, the bad news is the item becomes fake, which could damage your reputation. I don't really want to get involved in dodgy stuff. I'd, I'd like to be, I'd like to play it nicely. A clerk for hire, Tiger Mulgrew tremendous name is looking for a job clerks can take care of your customers passively granting you more charisma so he's going to cost us four hundred dollars per week so four hundred dollars to hire four hundred dollars per week he's got one star experience i mean okay if it gives us a bit more charisma yeah okay let's hire you let's hire a clerk i don't know if that's the right thing for us to do or not i've no idea um okay what have we got here what have we got here have we got this in, in our possession are these the things we've got oh Okay, right, so we've got ourselves a nice trophy, an interstellar hitchhiker towel, okay. <laughs> Very important, one of the most important items. However, that's in bad condition. Um, Elvis glasses, okay. Uh, a gondola souvenir produced in 1985. We don't even know how much that is. Basketball cap, table tennis racket. Are they the items we have then? Okay, right, I think we need to open up and the newspaper will go around. Right, hello there, hello sir, welcome. You seem to have in your hands a... a Kind of a handful of whatever that was. Good morning. They call me William Best. And I was wandering around and I saw that gem over there. I really want it. Okay, what gem? Okay, let's see. You really would like the Interstellar Hitchhiker Towel. Okay, I mean it's in it's in a bad way. I'll be completely honest with you. It's in a it's in a bad way. It could do it could do with a bit of a wash. Okay, so it's uncommon, it's in bad condition, and it, it's gonna go for $760. Okay, um, are we gonna talk numbers? Okay, yeah, let's deal. 
So how much do you say it would cost? Um, yeah, 706. Can we push that up actually? Can we, can we push that up to 800? Make ourselves a little bit more money out of it? 800, oh, I don't know. I'm not entirely satisfied, but I will accept it. Okay, right, good. So we've gone for 800 and we've sold that fairly mangy looking towel for $800. Okay, that's pretty good because that's gonna cover the cost of purchasing, you're hiring the Clark guy and then also pay his wage as well. Um, wow, someone finally did buy this shack after all. Nice to meet you. I'm the next door pawn shop's owner, the best pawn shop in town, just to be clear. Why on earth have we bought this place and opened up a pawn shop next door to a pawn shop? That's a terrible idea. Next door. That's right. Did you really open a pawn shop here without caring about me working exactly next door? Ha, you're already doomed. I mean, yeah, in, in hindsight, it does seem like a foolish decision. Okay, we will see. What I see here at the moment is just a poor novice. According to my fame-o-meter, your fame level is the lowest I've ever seen. Okay, I assume we have a fame meter of some sort. Ha, you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Fame level is what really matters in our business. It grants you big deals, money, and, well, fame. I didn't know it. Oh, dear me. Only by improving your abilities and by moving to more prestigious shops, you can hope to increase your fame level. But I bet you won't even manage to become a beginner. Okay, no, we'll, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. So is that it? So in one day, we sold one item. We made ourselves 800 monies, but we had to spend 400 on our staff member, I suppose. Okay, right. So now, yeah, do we pay? Hang on, we've not we've not paid yet. We've not paid for our staff. Um, a brainwasher for hire? Harry O'Donovan is looking for a job. Brainwashers can make people forget the last conversation with you. Uh, what? No, that's, that's bad. Or a lucky guy for hire. Um... Okay, right. I mean, I mean, we are we are plundering the stereotypes right there, but okay, that's fine. Ah, we can only have one employee. Okay, right. Dylan Douglas, I'm very sorry. We cannot have you. Let's open up. Let's open up and see what happens. Okay. Kind of well-dressed gent is kind of coming in. Hello there. Hello, Hal Roosevelt. I was cleaning the garden when I found something. Isn't it awesome? Mm, okay, awesome subjective. Okay, what is it? A leather-bound book produced in 1998. And you found this in your garden. I'm sure that'll be in super quality. It's in bad condition. $118. Um, yeah, all right. Let's buy it for... Let's bring that down to... I mean, is he going to accept something like 75? I could have possibly just typed that in, couldn't I? Accept 75. Are you serious? I think 114 could be a better one. Okay, no, we'll go up to, we'll go up to 90 then. Uh, best I can do is 106. Okay, what about 96? Let me think. Okay, deal. Okay, so we saved ourselves a bit of money on that there. Okay, splendid. So $96, we get ourselves a fairly mangy looking book. Um, okay, there can be Barbara Adelsky. Hello. Uh, and I'd like to purchase that gem over there. I bet you want to get rid of it. Okay, what gem are we talking about? A gondola souvenir produced in 1985. It's uncommon and it's in bad condition. Also, I have no idea how much it's worth. Um... Yeah, okay, we might as well get rid of it. 1,500, really? Really, really? It's an uncommon thing in bad condition. I mean, I'm, I kind of feel like we could push her up to 1,600. She's that, she's that determined. Yeah, okay, hmm, that's great, thank you. I might have just been completely ripped off there. I've got no idea of how much that is. That's great, thank you. Okay, that was quite a nice amount of money. Okay, that was good. Uh, hi, you can call me Aria Fry. I, you don't need to keep introducing yourselves, everybody. I saw that piece over there. Give it to me or I'll be very sad. Well, you've got to pay for it. Let's see. Table tennis racket produced in 2006. A common item in terrible condition that we're going to sell for $112. <laughs> Was it used by someone famous in the world of table tennis? Otherwise, you could probably just go down, you know, a normal shop and buy a pair of them for cheaper than that. Um, Yes. $113. Yes, uh, estimate 112, 130. Can we push up to 140? See if we can do that. You say 140, I say 130. Well, do you know what? Yeah, why not? I'm not sure. You literally just said 134. That's great, thank you. Oh, I didn't change it down. Joe, you know what? It worked out anyway. Hooray, hooray for dealing. Okay, so gross revenues, 2,540 monies. But then, yes, what did we do then? So gross, gross revenues, 1,740. We paid 96 for some reason. I don't know what that is. Uh, does that mean what we've made? We've made 2,540. I think I think that's what that means. I don't really know what a daily gross revenue is, but okay. Um, so a shop for hire. How much are they? Pawn tower for rent. Oh, this is... Oh, okay, right. This, this is costing $15 million. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, I don't think. We could do with some people selling some items to us. 
we could do with that really what's on our little book here so that's our ah right okay yeah so there's tiger mulgrew he's being nice and you know giving us sort of a charisma boost here are our four items that's all we've got left what's this lock thing here what does that do oh, does that mean we don't want to sell that oh no that's fine we do want to sell them all um what are we on novice reputation is honest yes that's good i like that i like that oh we can improve our skills for a bit of money ah okay so we can be more competent we can have more charisma luck they're all three grand an insight because we've got two in that then um yes that's eight grand that's a bit expensive isn't it right now it's a bit expensive um yeah okay never mind and that is my show <laughs> My shop has got not an entirely complimentary name and no fame points, but we are, we're working our way through Novice from five out of eight. Joe, you know okay, right, let's open up. Open up today. Hello, go on, tell me your name like everyone else seems to. Hi, my name is Tiffany Geller. I'd like to show you a little treasure. I want money in exchange, you know. Yeah, I kind of get how it works. Ooh, okay. Yeah, what's this? Decorated knife, produced in 2020. Oh, it's a common thing in bad condition. Uh, for 114. Um, no, 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 no. How about $100 on the nose? I think 118. Um, how about 104? Let me think. I'm not entirely satisfied, but I will accept it. Okay, $104. We'll buy ourselves that thing. Um, okay. You're Robbie de Thomas Pinter. Hello, how are you? Got a little treasure. It will fit wonderfully in your shop. It looks like a really horribly stained instruction manual. Is it like how to set up your printer or something? What is this? Oh, it's a comic book. Oh, yeah, of course, because it says wow on the front, of course. Common, bad condition, 112. Go on then, 62. We can get 112 for this. I mean, can we knock it down to around 60? That would make sense. I'm not sure. Okay, deal. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we've bought some stuff today. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, open up on day four of week one. Hello, you are not carrying anything, so I assume you've come to buy something. Hello, Craig Ripley, how are you with your golden tooth? You want to buy these awful Elvis glasses. Uncommon, that's quite good. We're gonna get a bit of money from them, but yeah, they're in terrible condition. I mean, would it have yeah, been so bad for us to give them a bit of a scrub? Uh, okay, let's deal. Um, Estimate 360. Let's hear our price first. Okay, let's try and knock it up to 400. So 400. Let me think. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was easy. I was expecting a little bit of haggling going on there, but no. Okay. Only one person came into the shop all day. Crikey. Oh no. There's a missing princess. Maybe the missing princess is in Italy. <gasps> and she's stolen the car. Maybe that's the kind of story there. There you go. I've linked them together. Um. Yes. Okay. Let's open up. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, she she looks quite she looks quite refined. Um, you can call me Svavalda Parker. I found something. I want to get rid of it. Okay, a toy wind up robot, presumably in bad condition. An old toy produced in 1886. Yes. Okay. Um, 810. That's that's quite expensive. Can we bring this down to let's let's proper bring it down. 600. I'm not sure. I think I can accept your offer. Six hundred dollars. The thing is, can I can I go and estimate these things? Can I go and work on this? Um, you want something from our shop? You want? Are you on the knife? So we paid one hundred and four for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's currently, my good sir, one hundred and fifty dollars. There you go. I don't know. Whatever. I accept. Okay. Right. Made a bit of money on that one. That's good. I mean, okay, not loads of money, but it's a profit, and we'll absolutely take it. Hello. You do have, you've got a bird on your hat. You know that. It's a good hat. Okay. Lando Martell wants to sell us this fairly beat up looking guitar. Um, uncommon, bad condition. Yeah, can we not, like, can we not clean the items? Can we not spend a bit of money and time on making them not look terrible? Uh, 580. Okay. How about then we give him, can we give him, okay, let, let's, do you know what? Let's really push this. Let's go to 300. Are you crazy? I'm thinking about 485. Okay, do you know what? We'll up it to 400. Okay, well, whatever I accept. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so we've stocked up on some more items. That's quite good. Okay, so continue. Let's see what's happening on day six. Lovely. Hello there. Oh, your hair is absolutely amazing. Look at your wondrous hair. This is all sorts of brilliant. Hello, Beverly Bolt. 
That's a very good name. I'd love to see a unique piece. Now you're showering me with money. Don't we already have a... We've already got one of those. I'm pretty sure we already have a baseball cap that looks exactly like that. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, let's see. It's produced in 2011 and it's bad for 116. Um, I'm not... I, we've already got a baseball cap. I don't think we're going to be able to sell two of them. No, I'm not interested. Away with you. Away with you and your hat. You think you had amazing hair. Okay. Let's have a look. In you come. And right, two people. Two people. Hello, Patrick Houston. They call me Patrick Houston. Okay, is that because it's your name? Ah, you want the uh, you want the old toy from 1886. So we paid six hundred dollars for this. Okay, we have no idea how much this is. He's thinking about twelve hundred dollars. Uh, can we can we extort a little bit more money out of this man? I mean, he is wearing a bow tie, and bow ties are cool. Um, let's see if we can get thirteen hundred out of him. Well. Okay, now that might have been worth $20,000. I've got no idea. My estimate is just sort of question marks. Okay, 700 money on that one. That was pretty good. And hello, Eleven Simpson. You want that gem over there? I've got big cash for us. Oh, a trophy produced in 2020, signed by Tannik and Fizz, the devs of this game. The rarity of this is legendary. It's in very good condition. It's about the only thing we have that's in very good condition. The estimate is $2,050. I mean, it's just sitting there. We're a pawn shop. There's no point in keeping it. It's just, you know, taking up space. So, yeah, okay. Um, estimate is 2050 Can we push that to... I mean, let's just go proper crazy. Three grand. There you go. Are you kidding? I was thinking about 2300 Okay. How about 2600 You say 2600 I say 2400 I'm not moving from it. Um, oh, okay, right, literally, that's it. Then not, we can't adjust the numbers. It's either we sell it for that or we don't. I mean, it's a profit and it's just sitting on the shelf. Yeah, okay, why not? There we go. That was quite a big chunk of the money's coming in. There we go. So we've paid a bit out in wages, I think, as well. Yeah, so weekly cost, 430. 12 customers served. We bought five things. We sold seven things. And our balance has gone up $4,700 in one week. That's pretty good. That's very good. And there's a crown. Yay for the crown. I don't know why I've got a crown. That's nice. Okay, so what does this do for us now? Now we're on week two. Do we get anything else? Like, are we just supposed to, are we supposed to go up to a different shop or whatever? All in mega store for rent. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to play this for a long time to get one and a half million dollars to hire that place out. Is there something we can do with the items? Can we somehow clean them or whatever? I mean, all the things we've got are bad. They're in bad condition. It'd be nice if we could go and, you know, make them a bit nicer. How do we get away from novice five out of eight as well? Oh, we need to level up our skills. Oh, that's what we need to do. We've got the five skill points and then we need to get up to eight skill points okay well how about then let's get a point of we've already got an extra bit of charisma coming in haven't we from our employees so let's get another point of charisma so yes please that's very good six out of eight i think we can get competence and luck as well and go up i think we can sort this out yeah let's do that for three grand luck has gone up and then competence yes please okay Wonderful. New fame level has been reached. Your popularity continues to grow. More and more customers will come to your shop to sell their most precious treasures. Yes, like a thing they found in the garden or whatever it was. Okay, so now we need another three skills to go up to apprentice. Okay, but at least we've made a good start. We've made a good start. Uh, okay, right. Open up. Now more people are going to come in, so we should get some more stuff. This guy has on a golden hat. Can we buy your golden hat, Mario Harrison? Oh my goodness me. Right, there's a queue. I don't know if people are going to get grumpy if they have to wait in the queue. Okay, you found a Rubik's Cube type thing. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. No, not a Rubik's Cube. Of course not. I I, I mistook it. No, it's a, it's a Rusbik Cube, obviously. I can tell from the shape. Uh, produced in 2013. Common, terrible, 37. Um, I had high hopes from you. You, you know, you, you look like a refined sort of, uh, a refined gentleman. You have a golden hat and a moustache and you're wearing a suit uh, and you've bought this thing. Um, j yeah, go on. Let's deal. I'll, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. There you go. 20 bucks. Uh, you know, take it. I say 58. No. 
Away with you. Goodbye, sir. Here's my favourite novice. It seems you lost the bet. Are you ready to pay? Look at your fame-o-meter. I'm doing it right now. Naturally, you're still a... Oh, damn. Your fame level has increased. I won the bet. Oh, we actually did make a proper bet. Oh, oh, I, I just assumed it was just him being a bit of a wally head. Okay, no, that's fine. Well, okay, you won this <laughs> you won this bet, but I don't care. I'm still the best dealer in town. I'll get you all next time, you might as well have said. If you say so, I'm sure you won't last long. Next time I'll come here, you'll be ready for bankrupt. Uh, you'll see. I wouldn't count on it. Okay, hello, Deborah Lenders. You desire that item. Okay, you want a leather-bound book from 1998. We paid 96 monies for that. Okay. She's 250. Yes, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. We'll take that. Thank you. Uh, hello, Napoleon. <laughs> You're called Napoleon Kitty. This is brilliant. Can you can you come and work here? I want one of my employees to be called Napoleon Kitty. This is that's wonderful. Um, okay, you've got a unique piece. Hmm, it doesn't look overly brilliant. What is it? An old medal. Oh. Okay, no, it could be worth something. It could be worth something. Okay, yeah, let's deal. Um, the estimate we've got is 770, and he he is willing to settle on 550. Okay, can we go down to 500? Do that, I'm not sure. I think I can accept your offer. Okay, that'll be quite nice. If we can sell that, that might make a nice bit of the monies. Okay, right, so skip forward. Clarks, shops, everything else. That's 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 twenty-five million dollars. That's the White House. Okay, <laughs> and it's got a chicken on the floor. Obviously, I don't think we can afford the White House just yet. We might do with a little tiny, tiny bit of time. An expert for hire. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Stanley Whistler is looking for a job. Yeah, we can't afford him, but just see what an expert does. Experts can make quick estimates of items you're about to buy with a chance to recognise counterfeits. If you give them an item to analyse, they'll make an exact estimate and find counterfeits with 100% accuracy with a small chance to discover new features, greatly increasing its value. Yeah, we could... Maybe an expert would be quite a good thing for us to actually get our hands on. We do need to go up to a different office, a, a, a sort of shop even. Because I imagine a different shop means we can get two staff members in. So we could get one staff member giving us a charisma boost. And then another one like this chappy here. Like an expert or whatever. Um, okay, can we give our staff guy something? Can we give him something to do? No, you just, you just give us plus one charisma. That's just your kind of thing. Okay, that's fine. Right you are. Right, open up the shop. Let's see who's going to come through the doors today. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Hang on, you're smoking. No smoking in my shop, sir. No smoking in my shop, Randall. How you get? Um, every time I enter this shop, I find it more ruined. That's because you're smoking in it, and I'd like you to leave the shop, please. What do you want, Randall? Yesterday, your fame level surprised me a lot, but now I recover from the shock, and I'm sure you won't be able to go further. Let's make a bet. Deal. Let's bet you'll never become talented. If you're scared, you can decline. Bet accepted. Okay, <laughs> so talented is the next one up, is it? Hello, Christopher Marr. You found some sort of rug. A 1971 rug. It's in good condition. Is it? You could have fooled me. I mean, there's a there's a few splodges on it, but okay. We can make a bit of money on this. Um, okay, so our estimate is 630. I think if we offer him 400 and just see where he goes from there. It's a rug you've found like in your house or something. An amazing bow tie again. There you go. I don't know. Whatever I accept. Okay. That was quite good. Okay, right. If this if this isn't Indiana Jones's hat, I'll be disappointed. Okay, it's a cowboy hat. Produced in 1990, connected to the second great zombie attack. The rarity is epic, but it's in terrible condition. It's epic. Okay, yes. Let us deal with this. Uh, 370? Hang on, can we knock that down to 300? That would be good, wouldn't it? 300, 345, okay, 320. 340. Yeah, right. 340. I'll go for that. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Guess it was an epic item. Okay. We just need to do some sales, though. We need to do more selling of things. He yeah, has a restorer for hire. Possibly click by that a little bit too quick. I imagine if we have a restorer, they could actually make things a bit better. Sort of, you know, scrub things up quite nicely. Hello, Kathleen or Caitlin Cluxton. How are you? You want this mangy looking baseball cap? Yeah. Okay. Fine. We'll deal. Um,. 110, how about 120? There you go, you're not going too far away from it. There you go, splendid. We get a bit of money from that. That's quite nice. We've had that from the start as well. So that's not so bad. 
Okay, yeah, where was the, yeah, Restorer. Sheldon Jackson is looking for a job. Restorers can repair items to their optimal conditions, greatly enhancing their value. That is very interesting. That's very interesting indeed. Profilers give more insight, but yeah, if we get our things a bit nicer, get our things looking a little bit better quality, we might be able to sell them for a bit more money. The only thing is, if we fire our one in play right now, we're going to lose our charisma boost. Um, okay, hang on. What did charisma do again? Remind me. Uh, could put you'll be able to sell counterfeit items more easily and get more openness from the hardest customer. Mm, I think, I think we can do away with that. I don't like doing this because Tiger Mulgrew is, he's got a brilliant, brilliant name, but I'm afraid, Tiger, you're going to be fired. Can, can, do we have to sort of shout at him? I have fired. Can we not just let him go gently? Can we not just, uh, we'll go and find him another job. We'll help him out. We're just going to leave him the lurch. We'll, we'll get him another job somewhere, like down the road or something. It's fine. So, right, Chappie goes away. And then we go to here for a restorer. So we'll hire you. Okay, so we've got a restorer. I assume now we can give you something to do. Um, okay, how do we do this? We would like it. Ah, yes. Look, it's got a little spanner thing. I don't know if a spanner is the right thing to restore a, a guitar or a medal or whatever. But what do we want to actually restore? I think this. I think this. If this is epic, the condition is terrible. I think we could restore this. Six days, $369. That's probably got to be worth it. If that's an epic item. Yeah, work on that, please. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be very exciting indeed if we can get that done. Okay, fine. So he's just going to be not doing a thing for six days. It's going to take a long while. Okay, I was going to say yeah, more people coming in could be handy. Hello, you've got <laughs> you've got a Dragon Balls action figure. <laughs> Dragon Balls Y. Okay, um, connected to the Gulf War. It's rare apparently. Why is it connected to the Gulf War? What? Um, okay, a rare item. Let's deal. I've got no idea how much it is at all. Not a Scooby-Doo. Um, okay, what about 300? 300. What do you think about that? Are you kidding me? 2,250. Okay. <laughs> right. I woefully underestimated the price of this. Okay. 2,000. I don't know. Whatever I accept. Okay. Right. We could do with somebody coming in to buy some stuff. You've got a telescope. Alfred Ferrari. Okay. $134, telescope produced. I think we've got stock room left, haven't we? I think we can have 10. Yeah, oh no, eight. Five out of eight. Um, yeah, all right. Can we buy this? 84, let's bring it down to 80. Why not? Let me think. And he accepts. Okay, right, good stuff. We now need to actually make some money. We need to actually get people coming in. Sell on auction. You have an item you want to get rid of. Sell it on auction and get a guaranteed profit by the end of the week. Warning, any attempt to sell a counterfeit will result in confiscation reporting to local authorities. Ah, I don't know if we have counterfeit items or not. Don't imagine we do. Um, okay, what can we sell? What can we sell on auction? Can we just get rid of the rug, possibly? It's in good condition, though. That might be okay. How about the guitar? Get rid of the guitar, possibly. Might make a bit of money off that. Yeah, okay, let's sell that item on auction. Uh, put it for auction. We'll be informed about the uh, auction outcome in a few days. Okay, lovely. Right, open it up then. Let's see what's going on. Week three begins. Just the one person. <laughs> Please come and buy stuff. Stop giving us stuff. What on earth is that? What even is that? Okay, let's have a look. A baseball glove. Um, I mean, it's it's seen better days, hasn't it? Okay, Um, how much do you want for that? Estimate 230. She wants to sell it for 162. Hang on. If we can get that down to 150, I'm not sure. Okay, deal. Right, okay. Can we can we sell some stuff, please? Can people come in and do some stuff? Buy on auction. Don't miss the opportunity to buy invaluable treasures. Two items. Um, okay. We've got just about three grand. Let's have a look. Ooh! Right, we can't afford any of those. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> they're very expensive they're very expensive indeed we'll just open up for the day what have you got to come and buy some things stop selling us stuff that's just a pair of really what are they sunglasses produced in 1994 signed by panther woods okay <laughs> see what you've done there um how much storage have we got six out of eight do you know what no away with you oh it was a terrible day it was a bad day at the office 
Uh, okay, let's open up. I want to get the um, the thing restored. Again, just one person coming in. Aha, now you've got some money you've put down. Let's have a look. You want to buy the Dragon Balls action figure that's connected to the Gulf War because reasons. Let's deal. You want to pay 3,400 monies. Okay, hang on. Can we make it? What if we just round it up to four grand and see what he says? Four grand. 4,000 is good. I say 3,650. Like it or not, it's my final offer. Do you know what? Yes, because that makes us quite a bit of money on that. So thank you very much. A pleasure, an absolute pleasure doing business with you, sir. Okay, open up. Hello. Just one. No, two people. Two people. Wonderful stuff. Three people. Katniss Scott. Hello. You want to buy something? You want to buy this rug thing? Okay. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, We paid 400. She's saying, oh no, what's your price? Okay, hang on. How about 700? See if we can do that. Hmm. I think I can accept your offer. There we go. Okay. So we made some money on that. Hello. Your, this is Rachel Zuckerberg. You want to sell us a shiny shooty gun. Okay. An old silver gun produced in 1893. Oh, it's very expensive. Okay. Can we deal? But I can't really afford that. So if we could get that for five grand, is it worth trying to push it down to five grand? Yeah. Okay. Are you kidding me? What about seven, seven? You might have to go away, I'm afraid. Six grand? Well, no thank you, mate. Yeah, we couldn't go any lower because we can't afford everything else. Okay. What are you willing to sell? Uh, sorry, buy the telescope. Okay. Yeah, okay. What do we pay? 80. He's willing to buy it for 174. How about we just round that up to a nice 200? So yes, okay. I'd rather say 184. Okay, how about 191? Hmm, that's great. Thank you. Okay, a little bit of haggling. I like that. So we've made some profit on that, which is quite nice. Okay, continue. Is that guy done yet? Has that guy done with all of his stuff? We've not got many items left. One day left. Okay, splendid. Right, open up. Hello, how are you? Again, you seem to have a cigarette in your hand. Can you stop this? Uh, oh my goodness me, there's three people. Oh no. Oh no, the, the the cops are here. Okay, okay, this could be a problem. And he's, he's, got, he's got a truncheon. Okay. <laughs> Do we need to run out the back quick? Do we need to, someone, create a distraction. Um, okay, you want to buy this terrible quality baseball glove. Okay, um, we paid 150. You, you're willing to pay 315. Now we can get more for that. 350, 335. Okay, 340. Hmm. I can accept the offer. Okay, we've we've doubled our money on that. That was pretty good. Okay, we don't have much in stock, however. Ah, you're gonna sell us this slightly mangy-looking board game, Serena. Overrated, <laughs> overrated board game produced in 1998, connected to a private collection. Um, yeah, okay, why not? I've no idea how much to pay for this. What about 200? Can we get it for 200? That'd be nice. Well, no thank you, I'm not staying here anymore. Please do, because there's a cop there and I'm scared. Um, hi there. Did you know that dealing with counterfeits is a crime? I was aware of that. Yeah, oh really? Yes, but don't have to worry. From now on, you can help the police fight this plague. Okay, tell me more about this. Together we can beat the local mafia and make them angry as never before. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm I'm up for I'm up for taking on the mafia. Why not? I'm sure it'll be fine. If you happen to have a counterfeit in your store, just keep it. I'll soon come to take it and give you a reward for your help. What do you say? Um, I feel like maybe you're trying to lead me into a trap here. I don't think we have any counterfeits. Okay, let's go. Right. Hello, Lisa. You're willing to sell us whatever that is. What is that? Oh, a medal of some sort. Okay, a bronze medal from 1992. Yes. Okay. We will give you. Give you the, the, the wonderful sum of $70. How about that? I don't know. Okay. Okay, good. That means we've got some items as well. So we've got some stuff back in stock. Right. So there we go. So your decorated guitar has been sold at an auction for 560 Ah, okay. So we made a bit of money on our guitar. And uh, Sheldon has finished his job with the cowboy hat. His new estimated price is it's worth a grand more. Oh my goodness me. Okay, that is completely brilliant. Well done, Chappie. Oh, that was great stuff. Okay, okay. So he is he's worth the effort then. Uh, okay, so that's now... That's worth a, a lot more money. Okay, and can we restore this? The old medal? The bronze medal isn't worth very much. Let's get that restored. 
$540 just to get that restored, though. That's quite expensive. Is it worth doing that? So we pay $500, another $540 to get it restored. So it's going to be over a grand investment. $770 now, that's the estimate. Do you know what? Why not? Yeah, have a go. Let's see if that actually works. And shops for rent. That's three grand. Oh, employee slots two. Fame points one. Inventory size stays the same. Maximum customer stays the same. But yeah, we can have an extra employee. Cost us three grand to get in. And the weekly cost is 60 more than it is now. We can cope with that. That's absolutely fine. Do you know what? Let's go there. Let's go to Trashy Paradise for rent. Because it gets us more fame points. And we can have another employee. Yeah, all right. Let's rent a move. We've moved to a new shop. Have we? Looks the, looks the same as the old shop. <laughs> okay, fine. That one wasn't better, was it? Um, that was seven grand. Uh, oh, I had an extra customer per day. Possibly should have looked at this one first. Never mind. Oh, that's quite expensive, though, to have. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, okay, open up the shop for the day. Oh, it looks slightly different. It looks a little bit different. Hello, everybody. You want to sell me... A model of a wheel. Okay, a London Eye souvenir. Okay, apparently it's rare. I I beg to differ. If you go to where that is, there's loads of them. Absolutely loads of these things. Um, okay. Now the only thing is, the only thing is, she's saying it's yeah, it's rare, which is good. But yes, I can't afford that because I don't have the money. So is she willing to go for three thousand for this? Let me think. Okay, deal. Okay. Right, that was a surprise. I didn't think she'd go for that. Um, however, yes, we've got to the end of the week. We are a bit poor at the moment. I knew it. You just received a first place prize for a best right thumb competition you attended 13 years ago. You won $2,825. <laughs> I mean, I do have a good right thumb. I mean, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it's a quality right thumb. Um, you, know, you know, all good things come to those who wait. That's wonderful. Thank you. That's nice. A lucky guy for hire. Luck. What did luck do? Oh, he's expensive as well, actually. And a brain washer. Not so bothered about that. Not so fussed. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's just open up. Let's just open up and see what's going on. You've got yourself a little cane. Very nice. Um, you want to buy this thing. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, yes. Let's deal. You want three eight. Okay, how about four grand for that? Let me think. Okay, deal. So we just made a grand. We just made a solid grand profit on that, which is quite nice. Okay, that was good. A grand is always good. Buy on auction. Three things. Are they going to be affordable things? Uh, an old decorated gun, a motorbike, and a Stellar Voyage Starship scale model. I'd like one of those. I'd like one of those. Can we join in the one for the... This is going to be too expensive, isn't it? That's rare, terrible. We could get our guy to spruce that back up. And it is, it is the Stellar Voyage Starship. Ah, these are the voyages of the Stellar Voyage Starship. How about we go for that? And we'll start bidding on that. Okay, bid 640. <laughs> bid 690. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to get sniped? No, we won that. Okay, I think that's probably quite good. Hello, Brittany McCoy. You want to buy... Oh, this thing. I was going to get somebody to spruce that up a little bit. Okay. Um, You're willing to pay... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. We put 1300. 1300, I'm thinking about 1200. Okay, what about 1240? 1220, yes. That's not quite double our money, but near enough. There we go. 530 profit on that. And we just arrived as well. What about the hat? What about the hat? Old friends, do you remember the loan you gave 12 years ago to one of your childhood friends in order to spend an entire night playing arcade games? Surprisingly, he does remember it. And he just returned it with interest. We got $671. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, friend. Okay, who's coming in today? Please buy some stuff. We've got four wonderful items on display. Oh, and you're going to give us whatever that is. What is that? An old silver necklace. Oh, okay. It's terrible condition, but we could spruce it up a little bit. Oh, that's that's quite costly. Okay, what about 1200 Would you go for that? 1340 Okay, what about 1300 How about that? Let me think. Okay, that's quite expensive. That's okay. Please buy something. You're here to sell us a comic. Uh, okay, okay, hang on. How many items have we got? 
five out of eight. Do you know what? Why not? Yeah. Okay. And can we give you uh, 150? Let's go for that. I don't know. And accepted. Okay. Right. Fine. So we're stocking up again. We're making. We're doing pretty all right for money. Shop for rent. 15 grand. That'd be nice to go to, wouldn't it? Struggling to get over the 10 grand at the minute. People keep coming in and, and selling and stuff. Maybe we should just say no to the things. Ah, right. Okay. You want to buy the bronze medal. The rubbishy bronze medal. Yes, okay. Oh, you want to pay 65. We pay 70 for it as it is. How about 80? And you can just take it away. Listen, 67. No, because I paid 70 for it. <laughs> you want to buy... You want to buy the gold medal, the bronze medal. You're, ah, you're willing to pay 132. How about 140? How about that? 130, okay, right. 138 then. Come on. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so almost doubled our money on the rubbish bronze medal. Splendid. Oh my goodness me. That is wonderful. Well done, Sheldon. So yeah, that thing, the medal he's restored, has now gone up and it's now worth more. It's worth 2,700. So we've got two really good items in here now. The hat is very good and the medal is very good. Do we want to do anything else? I think this might be pretty good. I think if we work on sprucing up this old silver necklace, I think that could be worth a heck of a lot of money. 1,620 money just to get that done. That's quite expensive. Yeah, go on. Why not? Why not? No guts, no glory. It'll, it'll be fine. I'm sure it's all good. Right, okay. Can someone come in and buy the hat or the, or the medal or something? All the nice shiny things. Yes, okay. The decorated gun. Okay. What do you want for that? 405. Okay. They pay 300. Can we up this a bit? What about 450? Well, accepted. Okay, that was that was refreshingly simple. Okay, thank you very much. And you, you're trying to sell us a drone that looks like you found it at the bottom of a river. Okay. <laughs> 2016. Right, have you got the controls? Because on its own, it's probably a bit rubbish. Um, 142. No. No, 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 no. How about 120, my good sir? Hmm... Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll accept that, that's good. Extra item in stock. We still need to get another person. An advertiser. Advertiser can track more customers into your shop by performing advertising campaigns. More people in the shop would be good. Getting four people in a day, do you know what? You're hired. Bring more people in, please. Have, have an effect immediately. You've got a... <laughs> What's in that bag? Have you been walking a dog? Ah, look at this. More people coming in. Oh, it's four people. Okay, right. Hello. Gigantic poster. <laughs> I don't know what film that could be. They're on a very small boat. Uh, oh, crikey. Okay. That's quite expensive. Um, the estimate. Oh, no, 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 no. It's you're, you're wanting more than I can actually possibly sell it for. 1500 It can go for that. 1720 No. Get out of my shop. There we go. You want to buy this rubbish drone that was like found in a bin or something. Um, okay. Okay. We will charge you. We'll, we'll say it's 180. Let me think. Okay, deal. Okay, $60 on that. Not going to change the world, but okay. You want the comic book. Okie dokie. 220. How about 250? Well, whatever I accept. Okay, so another $100 on that. And you, you are trying to sell. Hang on. Michael Farrow, you've been in before, haven't you? Haven't you been in before? The table tennis racket is in good condition from 1962. Yeah, all right. I'm not paying $425 for a table tennis racket. No matter what year it's from, no away with you. <laughs> That's just very silly. Bye-bye. That's just all sorts of nonsense. A storage auction. Ah, oh, we still got to be an apprentice. We need to sell those big expensive things. We need to sell those things and then we can get loads of money in, but people are not buying them. Ah, okay. Please tell me. Oh, yes. Here we go. Old medal. Uncommon. Very good condition. Estimate is 2,700. Yes, please. Your 2,100 foot. No. Oh, this is just tragic. Okay, let's just go to 3,000. She's saying no, 2,250. I don't think so. No, the estimate's 27. I don't think that's going to be. No, no way. Sorry. Bye bye. You want to sell us that thing. Okay. <laughs> Vanna Jones poster. Okay, it's epic in good condition. Yeah, all right. What? Okay. <laughs> I'd love to buy it, but I can't afford it. I mean, six grand. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, indeed. That was never going to work, was it? And you got a little wallet of money and you want to buy the old medal. Are you going to put some proper money in for this? 
How much do you say it's going to be? It's going to be three grand. Three grand there. I don't know. That's great. It's made, made two grand almost profit on that thing. Okay. That was pretty good. Right. Happy with that. I've just realized that we've only got two items in our sort of shop and one of them is being worked on. So we currently only have the cowboy hat. So we need to kind of buy some things in, please. Now, hopefully advertising guy is going to be able to work on that for us. It seems to be there are more people coming in. There's only two. Ah, three people. Right. Alexis McFly. Four people. Wonderful. Hello, uh, comic book. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Um, how much would you say it costs? Don't know. Not very much. I mean, it's a little bit stained. What about 75? We'll go for 75. I'm thinking 90. Um, all right. What about 80? Let me think. Okay. Wonderful. Right. So another thing that we can sell. Hello. You want to sell us whatever that is. A little treasure. A military uniform. Okay. That could be interesting. Um, how about then we sell that for the weird price of 171? Listen, I say 210. Okay. Well, if I say 193. Let me think. Whatever I accept. Okay. So you are now here. You want to sell us... What is it with this? <laughs> Hello, Sir Picard. What, what is it with... What is it with the, the table tennis rackets? Oh, that one's from 1906 and is epic. And it's worth 1400 on our estimate. Okay, can we knock that down to 1200? I said 1280, about 1240. Let me think. Okay, that's interesting. Please buy something. Please buy something. What is this? <laughs> I don't care if you're called Ray Dino Storm, which is a brilliant name. What is this? You found this by dumpster diving or something. A TV produced in 1996. I No, I don't want a TV produced in 1996. Away with you. Stop that silliness. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. People buy some stuff. There's a wonderful hat right there. Somebody come and buy the hat, please. Oh, you want to sell me this funny looking little metal thing? Um. Yes. Bring that down to 90. We might have a deal. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, that looks like it might be in decent quality. Oh, it's, it's horribly expensive. Can we even afford this? Okay, you, you might have to drop your price a little bit um, because we can't afford that. 6-2 um, is all I can do because I haven't got any more money. So, yeah, that. Well, okay. Oh, oh, crikey. We might have just got ourselves a complete bargain just there by virtue of not having any money. Okay, we need somebody to come in and buy something, please. <laughs> Stop selling us things. We've got so many things for sale. Somebody come in. Here we go, here we go. You want the rubbish comic. Okay, do you know what? 130, sit, push it up to 150. Would you go up to 150? I don't know. Yes. Okay, right. We've got we've got some money. We've got some money to pay some wages. The shop has not gone back a bit. I'm impressed. What do you want? I want to inform you that my expert just discovered a fake item by carefully examining it. I bet you'd never be able to do the same. Bet accepted. You really don't want to lose, do you? I wouldn't count on it. Okay, right. So now he wants us to do that as well. Restore Sheldon has finished its job with the old silver necklace. Its new estimated price is unknown. Okay, that's not what we wanted to see, but never mind, never mind. Do we want to get him restoring anything else whilst we're here? Uh, I mean, that's in good condition. How much should that be? 498. I don't think we need to. I think we need to restore that. That's in good condition. Yeah, everything's all right at the minute. Our restore guy can just have some time off. We need somebody to come in and buy some things. Please come in and spend some good money here. Hello, how are you? Right, Veronica Park, you want to buy this thing. Okay, yeah, let's deal. Guess a, a, guess a price. Um, that's our estimate. Can we say 1600? No, 1460. I mean, that would make us profit. Oh, she's not moving. Yeah, whatever, yeah, okay. 220 profit, that's fine. What is this? What is this, a jeweled watch? In terrible condition. Ah, terrible condition. We could get that. We could get that done, I suppose, with our restorer guy. We could bring this down to say something like four hundred. It's <laughs> really trying to rip her off. Six seventy. No, that's more than our estimate. How about five hundred? Hmm. No. Okay. Right. She's gone. And then here comes this chap. He's got some money. He wants to buy a military uniform. Um, three hundred twenty. Paid one hundred ninety-three. Can we up that to three fifty? I'm not sure. Yes. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, here we go. Somebody wants to buy the cowboy hat. Okay, right. Yes, let's deal 1,880. So we paid 709, and then we would have spent a bit of money on getting that sort of uh, restored. It's about $300. So that would make us about $880. That's okay. How about we bump that up to 
Let's see if we can get that for it. 2,250. Can you do that? 1980. They're not moving from it. Jay, well, yeah, I'll accept that. That's a nice bit of profit right there that we've just made, which is wonderful. Um, and you want to sell us... What's that? Jeweled earrings. Okay. Common, terrible condition. Uh, nah, I'm not interested. Br bring us exciting things. Bring us fancy, exciting rarities, please. Okay, some guy wants to come and sell us a Parry Hotter action figure. <laughs> I, I recognise him. I've seen him before somewhere. I couldn't possibly think where from. Okay, <laughs> yes, let's deal. Um, are we saying 8,200? We've not even got anywhere near that amount of money. 4,002, and he's saying no. And yeah, he's going to go, what, 7, 4? Hmm, okay, yeah, he's, he's just going to leave. That was unfortunate. Also, one person came through the, uh, one person came through the door on that day. That, that's rubbish. That's rubbish going on. What, what's our advertising guy doing? What are we paying him for? Oh, now this is more like it. Somebody wants to buy the St. Basil's Cathedral souvenir. Okay, so we paid 6-2. The estimate is 8-7. Yeah, okay. You want to give us 10,600 is, is, is the price. Joe, what? Can we can we just try and fleece him for a bit more money? 12 grand. Um, wait a minute. This is fake. I thought your reputation was better than this. Have a nice day. That is horribly unfortunate because we paid a lot of money for that and it's fake. Oh no, okay. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. We paid loads of money for that and it's a fake. Oh dear. Oh, okay. A, a devil appeared there. Um, okay, what would you like to buy? This thing, Anna. Ah, yeah, this is interesting. We don't know what, we don't know what we're going to get for this. 11 grand. Okay, can we up this to 12? In fact, Joe, what? Can we up that to 13 grand? Just to see if that's right. 13 grand, 12 grand. What about 12, two? Do you want to do that? I'm not sure. Whatever I accept. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. That was a good bit of profit. Hello, you're Franklin Kirk and I borrowed something. What do you think? What do you mean you borrowed something? Hang on, you want to sell me Webman? Okay, Webman action figure. Um, 9,000 through. We could sell it for 11. Can we get that down to 8 grand? Do you want to do that? No, nine. Uh, eight, six? Well, okay. Okay, that could be quite good. That could be a nice sort of, uh, nice easy thing to sell. Ah, now this is interesting. This is interesting. This thing here is fake. We've identified this coin here as a fake coin. And we've got an option for, I think this is a fake. And that'll probably go to her and she'll go, oh, no, it's not or whatever. Or it's a fake. I'll call the police and that gets us some reputation. Yeah, okay. Let's call the cops. The police come take your customer into custody for further investigations. Your reputation has just raised. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, there's our neighbour guy. Leo Ben Simpson wants to sell us a picture of a toilet. Okay, a decorated toilet. Uncommon. An uncommon decorated toilet produced in 1962. Why do you have this? How have you happened across an uncommon decorated toilet from 1962? Well, however he actually ended up with it, we've just bought it off him for $1,740. There we go. We've got our very own decorated toilet. How lovely. Oh, uh, okay. Here's this guy come back in. And yes, of course, we're talking about fakes, weren't we? Hi there. Always uselessly looking for a counterfeit to recognize her. Why don't you submit? You lost the bet. You'll never find a fake. I did it already. You want to believe that you own a fake and you've recognized it. I won the bet. Gives us 1,500 monies. This is simple. Look, for our next bet, you'll beg me not to take all your belongings. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you silly man. Somebody wants to buy the Webman action figure. Okay, this could be very good. 15,400 they want to give us for that. Yes. Okay, in fact, Joe, what? Let's push it up. What about set? Can we push it to 17, do you think? Can, can we give him a little nudge? Uh, you're 17. I say 16. Okay, hang on. 16, 4. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, good. We just made ourselves a bit of money on that. Oh, that was very good. Oh, we've got 22 grand. Um, Lessie Newcomb, you and you want to buy <laughs> you want to buy a decorated toilet. Okay. 2,600. I mean, uh, 2,750. Let me think. Okay, we just made a grand on a decorated toilet. <laughs> yay, yay for business. Okay, we've got 25 grand. We've got 25 grand. Is there anything we want to buy on auction? Um, coin, that thing, or a shooty gun thing. Uh, I mean, that's rare, very good. Do you know what? Let's have a go. Let's have a go with this. Yeah, okay. So bid 2009. That'll do. Estimates only 6-4. Okay, well, oh no, hang on. Bid's gone up. Let's go again. This is our bid. Oh, someone's already gone in. We'll bid again. If it goes up to about five grand, it'll be okay. I'll be happy with that. Oh, boo, boo, Mila Smulders. Okay, one more bid. 
time is ticking down. Okay, right, we've, we've won another hammer thingamajigger. Okay, good for us. Okay, there's a lady that wants to buy the fake St. Basil's Cathedral souvenir. Now, do we just let her do this? I think we might just let her buy this. Yeah, okay, let's deal. We know it's dodgy, but give us 10 grand for it, please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a fake. People will soon know it and your reputation will lower. But we did make quite a bit of money from that. So, okay, that, that's absolutely fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, and you're trying to sell us a hat with goggles on it. A limo hat. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm, I'm sure it's brilliant. Okay, right, our reputation has gone to suspect because, yes, we sold that dodgy kind of fake Basil's Cathedral thing with Bob. So, okay, that's fine, but we're still we're more sort of toward the angelic side than the dodgy side. We could, however, just invest in our skills a tiny little bit more. So how about, look, does that bring in more people? Yeah, look can increase the average number of customers. So we'll have a point of luck, please, for eight grand. Thank you very much. So, okay. And then we need one more to get away from beginner and go up to apprentice. That could be quite fun. Let's get ourselves competencies, the more items you have to estimate, and with more accuracy. Yeah, let's get that done. So, yes, please. And we are now, yes, we're at a new fame level. Popularity continues to grow. More and more customers will come to the shop. That's very good. So, we need another four of those. Another four skills to get up to talented. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite tricky to get enough money to level up and kind of keep things going and buy you know, new shops as well. Okay, there's a mega Dario action figure here. This is like, you know, this is the Super Mario from the Mirror Universe. Oh dear me, it's just not good at all. It's a common thing. It's in terrible condition. It's not even worth that much money. But do you know what? Do you know what? Oh no, you're asking way too much money for it. If you can part with it for 140, then maybe. 168. Maybe we can get our guy to spruce it up. I don't know. Okay, do you know what? Uh, there. Yeah, 160. We'll get our guy to maybe spruce it up and just see if we can make it slightly more appealing. Ah, this is exciting. We have ourselves a storage auction and now we can join it because we're at the right level. Uh, yeah, okay. We've got four space in our stock. So yeah, okay. Let's have a look at this. Um, an old table, a bronze medal, uh, connected to the Illuminati expansion, an old decorated gun. Uh, yeah, okay, why not? Let, let's have a go, shall we? Let's put a bid in for 4,900, and we can't do much more than that. Yeah, we, we can't bid anymore, because we won't have enough money to pay people's wages. Oh, and in fact, you know what? It's gone over anyway, so, okay, bye-bye. I hope you enjoy the storage stuff you got. We've got somebody who wants to buy a medieval bronze statuette. I mean, it looks a bit creepy, but it's epic in terms of rarity, and it's in quite good condition. How much are you willing to pay? 17,400? We only paid 8,800 for it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. That was wonderful. That was absolutely brilliant. What a good deal that was. Do you know what though? I think we've seen all that we need to see of Dealer's Life to see sort of what game it is. And do you know what? It's actually very, very enjoyable. It's another one of these sort of, you know, it's nice and relatively relaxed. It's not got loads of complicated rules and bits and bobs going on everywhere that you need to try and you know, comprehend and kind of factor in your mind. You know, it's sort of relatively straightforward. Just people come in. Do you want to buy the stuff? Do you not want to buy the stuff? If you want to sell some stuff, how much do you want to sell it for? And then, yeah, you get your staff in to, you know, maybe sort of restore some items or get more people through the door or make you better at you know, charisma or whatever. Whatever. Anyway, it's, it's a nice sort of simple, straightforward, very enjoyable game that you could just sink many, many hours into because, you know, you sort of just rolls over. You just go, oh, I'll open the shop. And then you do a little thing and you go, oh, I'll open the shop. You could spend a long time playing this. I think we've done all right. I think we've done okay. We've made 28 grand, which is pretty impressive. I'm quite happy with that. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll just imagine, we'll just imagine that Penge here in his little sort of pawn shop goes on and just, you know, goes and makes mega millions and ends up being in charge of some sort of great big, huge kind of shopping empire where people can just, you know, go and get rid of their slightly dodgy, tatty goods they found at the bottom of a drain or whatever, and they can sell it on to, to the Penge empire of pawn shops. So yeah, I think that's what we'll imagine. We'll imagine that, you know, it just goes on to greatness and we shall indeed finish up for now but i hope you have enjoyed this i find this has been fun i've enjoyed playing this i'm glad we took the time to go and have a little look at it and i hope you enjoyed it too if you did please do leave a like that would be most splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time move out of the way friend i'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating <laughs> kung fu croquet Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored at the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>